Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Junior. Today we're going to have another science read aloud. And the read aloud for today is Hey Water. In this book, we're going to be finding out where we can find water and what are the three types of waters and way more. So let's just get into the fun. Faucet. Guys, I'm sure you have seen uh, faucets in your house because faucets can be found like in the kitchens and the bathrooms in your house. So another word for faucet is a tap. So let's uh, move on. Hey water, I know you. You're all around. Sprinkler. We use sprinklers to water the plants without using a hose and waiting for a few hours. You spray up. Showers. Whenever we're taking a shower, we use water and down. Let's move on. Hose. You trickle. I'm sure you know about a hose. It's another way to water plants, except it takes a long time. But we have to move on. Stream and gurgle. In the stream, that's where you do some boat ridings and some fishing. It's really cool in the stream, even the river. Let's move on. River. You rush towards the sea. Yes, rivers always rush towards the sea. So all the fresh water goes to the salty water. That's a bit sad, but okay. Ocean. You cover most of the earth. Salty, struggling, and mysterious. That is very true. Do you know something? Almost half of the ocean is not even discovered. Yep, yeah, the ocean is humongous and mysterious. And let's move on. Lake. Sometimes you like quiet and calm. Lakes are awesome. You can do boat races and they're so calm. It doesn't move in a like a big splash or anything let's move on pool so we can splash and play and yell on you cool i love pools it's so good right it's just that you had to pay and there will be a lot of people you don't know in a public pool but anyway this is so cool let's move on puddle i'm sure a puddle always comes after rain comes i stomp in you and scatter droplets everywhere i love stomping in puddles they're so good Anyway, let's move on. Dew drop. In the morning, you wink at me from blades of grass. Awesome. Let's just move on. Tear. Sometimes you slide down my cheek without a sound. There are different types of tears, like good tears, like happy tears, and sad tears. I like happy tears because they're happy. Anyway, let's move on. Rain. Sometimes you roar and pour like a lion. Steam. Water. Even if you try to fool me, I know you. You blast and huff. You whistle and puff. This is one of the states of matter. When uh, There are three types of water. One of them is liquid water. One of them is gas water. And gas water is called steam. Cool. There's lots of types of gas water. There's clouds and fogs. Fogs are just clouds, but in, near to the ground. Anyway, let's move on. Cloud. You hide in the air and drift. So yeah, that is a type of water. Fog. You drift in the air and hide the world. Fog is just a cloud, except it's just so low to the ground that it looks not like a cloud. Anyway, let's move on. Ice cube. Sometimes you freeze hard as a rock. See, this is another one. This is called um, water, this water as a solid. So this solid uh, water is like it freezes. If you freeze water, it becomes solid or water. If you um, like heat water, it becomes a liquid. I mean, gas water. Anyway, um, an ice cube is an example of a solid water. Anyway, let's move on. Iceberg, a rock that floats. Iceberg is just like an ice cube, but it's way bigger. Let's move on. Rink, or a rock we can skate on. It's just a a pond, a small pond that is frozen. Or it could be a lake that's frozen. Anyway, let's move on. Snow. Sometimes you freeze soft as a feather. Snow is like a solid like, uh, solid water, but it's a bit different. It's soft uh, because the formation of it forms in the cloud, so yeah, it gets soft. Anyway, let's move on. Snowflakes and fancier than lace, but water, I know it's you. Snowflakes is a pretty beautiful looking um, solid water. 
It looks so beautiful, right? I love snowflakes. Do you know a fun fact about snowflakes? No two snowflakes are the same. All of the snowflakes are different. That's so cool, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on. Snowman. You're hiding in this funny guy. <laughs> he is funny. Zoe. And you're hiding in me too. Of course. Water hides in us as well. Mushroom, bird, plant, bug, puppy, fish. Water, you're part of every living thing. That is very true. Let's move on. Glass. When I'm thirsty, there you are. I'm sure you have seen a glass of water. Like, you see it every day. Anyway, let's move on. Bathtub. Hey, water, thank you. Yes, we should all say thank you to the water. Without it, our lives would be very, very different. Thank you, water. So, guys, that's the end of the story. That's so sad. I really want to keep reading out to you. Well, I'm sure this story will be better if you read it by yourselves. Please buy the book. And anyway, um, I'll see you all later. Goodbye. And just remember, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the notification bell to all. Bye.